Hello friends, welcome back to Reviews by Dennis. Today I got another great Sumpri product I wanted to bring to your attention. This is their uh, Sumpri camping gear. This is a uh, compact pocket chainsaw and fire starter kit. Um, comes with a little flint and steel. Um, and uh, on that flint and steel it's got a lanyard which has a little uh, emergency whistle. Um, and also it comes with a pocket chainsaw which is a 36 inch chainsaw which has a handle on each end so that you can cut you know, uh, timber and stuff like that for uh, starting fires. Uh, just real simple, let me open it up and show you what you get. Uh, inside you're going to get this little literature. Basically on one side it's going to give you information um, about your pocket chainsaw and the other side is going to give you information on the uh, flint and steel, kind of how, like, how to you know how to tips on uh, how to start a fire uh, with flint and steel and um, with the chainsaw information it kind of gives you information on uh, how to hold it uh, try to be straight when you're uh, doing your tugging and pulling and um, you know um, and uh, methods on how to uh, sharpen the blade if you need to uh, with a standard uh, round chainsaw blade uh, chainsaw file that's uh, 5 30 seconds or 4 millimeters round uh, so it's a real nice little piece of literature that it comes with. Um, but here's the actual item you get. comes in a nice carrying case, which has a little pouch, on, a little slit in the back there, so that way you can put it on your belt. Um, and then on the front, it's got a little, you know, squeezed uh, together fastener that holds it together. And when you open it up, let me show you the flint and steel first. So what it looks like comes with a nice long necklace. So that way you can uh, put this right around your neck so that way you know where it is at any given time. And it does have one of these um, little uh, push button things that slide to allow it to uh, you know, be tight or looser if you need. And um, so this is actually the flint and steel right here. And it just comes apart. And as you see, one side is the steel and the other side is the flint, or vice versa rather. And um, when you first get it, it's got black paint all over it. Uh, so you're gonna have to work, you know, a few, a couple le levels of that to get the paint off before, you know, it'll start um, actually, um, you know, getting, so the, the uh, it can actually make a spark. So it takes a little while, you get to you get used to it. Uh, you're gonna wanna use something dry, start fires. Um, when you're out in the wilderness and uh, you know, you just have to play with it You know use the directions that come with it and a little bit of trial and error But like I said, you got to get that black paint off there scrape it off a few layers to uh, get that started And then it just clicks back together. So that way it's a uh, You know, um, you know all together in one piece and on the other end here. Uh, it has a little emergency whistle So say who knows that say you're stuck in stuck in a ravine because you fell down a hill and broke your leg you can sit there keep blowing on this and hopefully somebody hear you and you can be rescued so that's kind of nice that it, you know if you're out camping or hiking alone um and then next let me show you the 36 inch chainsaw blade and as you see each side has a nice handle attached to it and even my big hands fit into these so that way you gotta get a nice solid grip and like i said it's 36 inches long as you see here, as you see the blades up close. So you're going to want to make sure you, you got this facing the right direction. Uh, usually you're going to have like the blades facing up when you're holding onto each of your handles and you're pulling in this kind of motion. Um, you know, uh, you, say you have your wood in between there, you're going to drop it down through there and you're going to be standing above it usually to get a little leverage and you're going to be pulling in this fashion. And um, this is going to help you, you know, cut down, uh, you know, small limbs and stuff like that that you might need to help start your fire with your actual uh, flint and steel. Um, I think this is a really great item. It's uh, very compact and small. It, it can fit easily into a camping bag or, you know, an emergency survival kit. And uh, I just think this is a great item I wanted to bring it to your attention. So if you're interested in this item for yourself, check out the link in the description below. And thanks for stopping by today here at Reviews by Dennis. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.